Hi, good evening to everyone. I'm Dr. Philip McMillan, and today I'm going to be highlighting an important, important health issue, and it's around hypertension, the importance of blood pressure, understanding it, and how this has become so critical in the context of the pandemic. This is about a blood pressure or hypertension eruption that I am anticipating to occur. And I need my subscribers and my listeners to understand just how important this is. And so this was highlighted to me when I saw this recent uh, BBC article where they, on the 11th of March, they had over 40s urged to get free blood pressure checks. And so this caught my attention and because, as usual, as I explained to my listeners, if you are following me, you're probably a bit ahead of the curve when it comes to anticipating the problems. And as part of my contribution today to this point about hypertension, I've also made this course that I've done on Macmillan Research free. And for those who are not yet aware, as I said, I am looking well ahead in terms of what could be happening talking about the heart failure epidemic, diabetes, how it's relevant, the cancer explosion, how to prepare for the next wave, not just of COVID, but everything else. And in this context, the myocarditis implications, infertility, and hypertension is one of those things that I am looking at. And as I said, I'd prepared this ahead of time because I anticipated that it would occur. So for those who are interested, what you have is a link below for you to be able to see the course for free because it is that important. And I'm looking at what are the mechanisms around why we're seeing hypertension increasing at this point. So to get back to that question, what really is going on? Why is it that there suddenly seems to be a public health push with regards to hypertension? And what they were saying here is that over 40s were encouraged to get free blood pressure checks. And this is being pushed by a, a TV pundit and former footballer, uh, Graham Souness. And what they want in the UK is they want to target people, more people over the age of 40 to get blood pressure checks because there are millions who do not realize that they have dangerously high levels. And they describe hypertension as the silent killer. Now, this is really, really important. And it's part of the reason, as I said, I've been talking about COVID and autoimmunity. I consider autoimmunity in the very same vein, silent killer. And critically, my research around COVID autoimmunity predicts that this is going to occur. And this is part of what the course is about. Just to give you an idea as to what we are talking about in it, I look at not just infection, but all sources of the spike protein. That's the important bit. We look at the basics with regards to what is hypertension. Uh, we look at uh, the secondary causes of it. A little bit with regards to the history uh, as to what occurred with regards to the development of drugs and the kinds of drugs and the time frames and so on. But here is a really interesting point about hypertension when we talk about the silent killer. We, the history tells us that we called it essential hypertension. And this was because in the 40s and the 50s, they noticed that people have, had elevated levels of blood pressure, but they didn't quite understand why. Interestingly, even um, President Roosevelt had very high levels of blood pressure, and he had it for a number of years, and they didn't know what to do with it, and they were just observing it until he died. Just before he died, I think his blood pressure, the systolic, was over 300. Huge numbers, and it highlights the fact that identifying hypertension is one thing, Managing it is critical because the long-term impact of it is very, very important. Because if you leave it alone, it will cause heart disease, brain disease, kidney disease, you know, and so it needs to be addressed. So as part of my educational thing, you can tell me if this short and doodly video works to highlight the point that I usually say to patients. Let's hear how this works.
I just have to jump in here because this is such an important area. Listen, the amount of times patients don't even say that they've got hypertension because they think it's such a, a minor issue is unbelievable. So yes, it is a really, really critical point. But as we said, just let's go on with that. And again, I have to jump in here because this is again another really important point is that people don't know their numbers. And that's the, the point of this is whose responsibility is it? This is the point of the doodly. Whose responsibility is your blood pressure? That's the question. Is it the doctor's responsibility? I can guarantee you that if something happens because of your hypertension, it's not the doctor who is going to be blamed. And if you know your bank PIN number, you should definitely know your blood pressure number. That's the principle. And so this is the point that I was trying to make with regards to how important this is with regards to managing hypertension. We all have that responsibility. And part of what it is that I am trying to put in place is that for people who don't know about their numbers, here is the relevant bit that I want you to consider, is that part of that course is a home blood pressure sheet. This is something I usually insist on patients having. You need to know your numbers. I put on it the targets. I give you the days of the week and you stick your numbers in and your heart rate. And this is what you will then show your GP or even your practice nurse to show if you are getting close to the relevant targets. I'm usually interested in the blood pressure when you're relaxed. That's the target to keep it low uh, when you're relaxed. And that will be explained in the course as to why I target that. But this blood pressure eruption, is extremely serious. And part of your responsibility, I'd say, even if you don't have hypertension, is to ensure that those around you understand just how critical this is. And I think that the point that I wanted to highlight here is that from an autoimmune perspective, and this is why I said it's autoimmunity, it doesn't matter where the spike uh, comes from, um, but in this image here, I'm showing how important it is to get the balance of the renin-angiotensin system. And what seems to be happening based on the autoimmune research is ACE2 is impacted um, by autoimmunity. And therefore, what you will have is increased levels of angiotensin 2 driving vasoconstriction as well as pro-inflammatory problems, pushing up blood pressures across the board. This is the problem. And so many people may not have had a problem before and now they have hypertension. The other thing that you have to look out for is after, if you had even a mild COVID infection, make sure you keep an eye on your blood pressure. And so that's essentially what I wanted to share with you today. As a reminder, the course is free. 
click on the link below. Even if you don't want to go through the course, make sure you at minimum check on the home blood pressure monitoring sheet. If it's not for you, make sure it's for someone else. So that's the important point to share with you all today. Remember, there are many issues going forward that we have to address. Hypertension is just one of them. We're looking at cancer. We're looking at diabetes. We're looking at liver disease. We're trying to see if we can educate the public to understand not just what is happening, but why it is happening. Critically, that's going to be the solution that will protect you and your family. I hope that you are willing to join us on this research journey. Have a great evening.